Do you play a Reiko in Mortal Kombat 1? Well, here are the best cameos that you need to be using. Take it one step at a time. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and let's get into these cameos. To really make your cameo work with Reiko, the first question you must ask yourself is what is Reiko's game plan? Like what does Reiko as a character want to do in the fight? And the answer of course is to get in your opponent's face to be able to command grab them and just do stupid damage. Because though Reiko has a projectile, sure, he's not his owner. He doesn't really want to be that far away. He thrives being in your opponent's face. So the first pick that I have for a cameo to go with Reiko is Mataro for a couple of reasons. First of which being, if your opponent is trying to zone you out, you can actually reflect projectiles and walk forward. Be safe, not to worry about getting zoned out. Get in their face and do your thing. Secondly, if the reflect isn't gonna work out for you, you can always teleport get in their face. To give Reiko the mobility he needs to get into your opponent's face is just a huge advantage, and that's why I love having a teleport on command. Not only that, but we can put awesome pressure on the field with Mataro's projectiles, get in our opponent's face, or just combo off the projectile. Mataro offers a lot of tools that Reiko can really benefit off of. Another great option that I have to put with Reiko is Serena for the sake of combo extension and allowing us to go into command grabs more often do the damage that we want to do, like so. Being able to extend our combos, especially on the ground, as Reiko is a really grounded character, is huge for his gameplay, and Serena allows us to do that. Plus, we have our projectile. Now we can use hers. Plus, being able to use Serena with your opponent in the corner and completely drain their meter while you do your thing is just crazy when it comes to Reiko. So what that's gonna do, that's gonna make your opponent hesitate and go, oh my gosh, I gotta get out of here. They're probably gonna mess up because they're so pressured right now, allowing you to get your command grabs in there. Another option that I love to pair with Reiko is Sonya Blade, and that is because Reiko doesn't have a ton of air combo options. Both of our air combos, including one, two, one, as you see there, they kind of push our opponent far away, but we can't really do a ton off of that. Or our two, one, four option completely slams our opponent back down. So what Sonya allows us to do is continue air comboing and then drop before our opponent does and continue the ground combo. It just gives Reiko an actual op into combo in the air where normally we can't really do that. Obviously another projectile never hurts to have. And of course more combo extension that we just love to see out here. Sonya is a great option for Reiko, and I love that I can play Reiko and do air combos. It just feels so good, man. These are just my cameo recommendations when it comes to Reiko. Let me know down below who do you pair Reiko up with and why. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content, and take it one step at a time.